Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm wearing my new little witch hat that I found in Salem. I thought it was just so cute and perfect for today's video. We are prepping a little Halloween dinner party for the kids. I love to do this every season. I have a ton of snack ideas, kind of appetizers, all kid friendly, really cool, spooky, Halloween themed. Um, a dessert and we're also going to be adding some really cool decor to my tablescape so let's go ahead and get started all right so what I have over here is the cauldron that is going to be in the center of our dining room table and what I thought that I could do to make it just a little bit more spooky is I bought these iridescent um, Christmas ornaments from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to glue them around so they almost look like a potion is bubbling over the top and instead of hot gluing them directly on this, I cut one of my plates. I wish it was white. Hopefully I can cover most of it, but at least it's Halloween, if nothing else. So I'm going to just start hot gluing them around and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so the first one did fall, but I think it's because my hot glue gun wasn't quite hot enough yet. All of the others stuck so well during the process, and even now, a few days later, none have fallen off yet. process my camera battery died but here is the finished look I just went through and I hot glued all of the ornaments on and I love how this looks like a potion bubbling over it definitely gives off bubble vibes for sure I like that I went with an iridescent color and I think that it's really important if you're going to try this to glue everything to a lid so that it's removable um, because in this instance I put these pumpkin color changing lights inside and I'm hoping at nighttime it really reflects off of these and gives a really cool look to our table. I found this tablecloth at Target and you can color on it and I thought it would look really cute on our tablescape and also be something really fun that the kids could do, especially my two year old. She loves coloring. So I'm just going to lay this out and then set up my tablescape on top. So I ended up taping it down around the bottom and I was a little concerned this wouldn't fit our table but it almost fits. There's just a little bit short on each edge but I think the kids are going to love it and it's going to look really cute with the rest of my stuff. Hunter is going to love coloring this. So stinking cute! I set up this same tablescape in my Halloween Decorate With Me video, just minus the tablecloth and my newly DIY'd cauldron. I thought that it turned out really well before, but my cauldron was missing something, and I think this was just the perfect touch. But if you haven't seen my Halloween Decorate With Me video, I will link it right here. It's seriously some of my best work, and if you're here, I'm assuming you love Halloween as much as I do, and you're sure to get a lot of ideas over there, so make sure you check it out and let me know that you stopped over. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say.
I thought it would be really fun to get some white helium balloons to draw little ghost faces on them to set on each plate. And let me just say, when I was little, I used to get helium balloons and they would float for what seemed like forever, but these guys barely made it through the night. So I thought that was kind of odd. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, nobody loves me better One of the apps I'm making is a jack-o-lantern that looks like it's throwing up guacamole. You could use any dip, of course, but I'm just carving out the mouth section for this part. Okay, so now that we have our pumpkin prepped, I have these Halloween cookie cutters. We have a little pumpkin, a ghost, a cat, skull and bones, this cute bat here, and a witch. And I'm just going to take them and cut these white flour tortillas to make chips. This is really easy. If you've never made your own chips using flour tortillas, I highly recommend it. It's really good. And in this case, it's really gonna be fun just to add some spooky elements, being able to make shapes out of them. But um, I will have all the recipes listed down below, but I'm just going to spray both sides with olive oil, bake them in the oven for a little bit. Super easy and really cute. Okay, so you guys really need to try these chips. If you love tortilla chips, these are so easy to make and they are way better than the store-bought brands. I baked mine for about five to eight minutes and sprayed olive oil on each side. And just make sure you keep an eye on them because they can burn very easily and quickly. Now the fun part is setting this guy up. I'm using tin foil so that my guac isn't touching the pumpkin. I figured that might be kind of gross. And then just spooning it on to look like it's pouring out of his mouth. It kind of looks spooky, kind of looks gross. Let me know what you think about how this one turned out. All right, so next up we are making jalapeno popper mummies. I've never made this recipe before, but they just looked too cute not to try. So hopefully the kids like them. I know that my husband and I love jalapeno poppers, so we'll see how they turn out as little mummies. But you are going to need jalapenos, obviously, some um, cream cheese, crescent rolls, and then these little eye sprinkles. I've seen these at Target and also my local grocery store just down the baking aisle. You first wanna make sure to get all of the seeds out so the pepper isn't super spicy. And then I don't know what I was thinking here, you guys. I've made jalapeno poppers so many times, but I totally forgot to mix another cheese in with my cream cheese. So ours was a little bit bland. Um, so I don't recommend skipping that part but otherwise I thought this turned out really, really good. You wanna spread out your crescent rolls and pinch the creases together so you have a square. And then I found it really helpful using scissors to cut strips and these are what you are going to wrap around your peppers. You can add as much mummy wrap to yours as you would like 
but I generally went with about two strips on each one. And then don't forget to leave a little gap towards the top for your little eyeballs to go. And right before they go in the oven, brush them lightly with a beaten egg to make sure they get nice and brown. I believe mine took right around 15 minutes to bake and oh my gosh, these turned out so adorable and they were so yummy. I wish I remembered to add the extra cheese to my cream cheese. So if you end up making these, let me know how you think they turned out. Next up on our menu, we are making bone-shaped mozzarella sticks. For this, you will need pizza dough. I bought mine already store made and rolled out, saved me a lot of time. And then you will also need melted butter, Parmesan and mozzarella cheese. I just mixed mine together in the same bowl. For each bone, you're going to need two balls about the same size as a standard cookie dough ball and then just a long flat strip of dough. One ball will go on each side and I found it helpful using scissors to cut them to make the little bone shape. Lightly coat each one with the melted butter and sprinkle on about half of the cheese mixture and then halfway through baking, you'll add the remaining cheese. I thought these turned out so stinking cute and they tasted so good. I'm using my favorite Rayo's marinara sauce to dip them in and then I also just made some mini pepperoni pizzas so we could have those as well. Now we are putting together a creepy charcuterie board and I am excited to show you guys all of my ideas for this. First, I have just some spicy cheese. I tried to keep things like dark moody colors just, just to kind of give off that Halloween vibe. Um, I figured these would look really cool sprinkled throughout these pomegranates. We have some different salami here. And then these grapes, I've never seen them before. They're, what are they called? Moon drops. So I just love the shape of them and the color. I thought they looked kind of creepy. And then we have some blackberries. I have a cute idea or more spooky idea of what to do with this goat cheese that includes this raspberry, red raspberry jam. Um, and then I think I'm going to put some spiders around it just to make it look even more spooky. I love putting charcuterie boards together, especially seasonal ones. I change up what I put on them every time, but my typical staples are always different types of hard and soft cheeses, seasonal fruits. I also like to use a lot of meat. Sometimes I go spicy. It just kind of depends on if I'm using spicy cheese or not. You can also add crackers, nuts, little dried breads. There are so many fun options and there's always something for everyone on one of these. And this was my first time adding pomegranate to a charcuterie board and I highly recommend them for just a light little crunch. All of the recipes in this video were just really quick to throw together and great for the kids. The jalapeno mummies got Miles to try jalapenos for the first time and he liked them so that was a win in my book. And 
we couldn't have a fun Halloween party without having a fun drink. So I found this recipe on Pinterest, first time making it, but it is a slime, slimy drink, I believe it's called. Again, it will be linked down below. But what you are going to need is, um, uh, this is the apple jello and grape jello. I made these about four hours ago. They've been in the refrigerator. You could use ginger ale or Sprite. And then I picked up these cute little uh, plastic champagne glasses at Target. about these. I'm not the biggest Jell-O fan, but Miles, I'm sure, will love them. He loves Sprite, but he also loves slime, and these just look so cool. And I can tell just by the texture of it when I put in the straws that it's very slimy. I think it looks really cool and creepy with the different colors and the sparkles from the Sprite. I'm sure will make it taste really good, too. So cool. Okay, and finally, I was thinking about what to do for dessert, and since we're doing a lot of games while we're eating dinner, and then we're planning on watching like a not too spooky Halloween movie, I figured popcorn would be the perfect dessert. So I just have this store-bought, lightly salted popcorn, and then I was thinking if I got this magic shell chocolate and caramel, it might harden up a bit so it's not as messy while we're eating it, but we will see. Um, maybe I'll have to pop it in the fridge for a couple minutes. And then I have these cute Halloween sprinkles that I got at TJ Maxx. I always keep the tags on my TJ Maxx stuff. It's just so hard to get off. And then I also am using those same eyeballs that we used for the mummy. And I think this will just be a perfect snack to have during our movie. So popcorn update. It tasted amazing. It looked really cool. But even with putting it in the fridge, it did not harden the chocolate or the caramel. So I would recommend using some melting chocolate and seeing if you have more luck with it hardening like that. But otherwise, it was super tasty to have while we watched our movie. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love doing these seasonal dinner parties. It's always so much fun, great memories. So if you like this type of thing, make sure you are subscribed. I have so much fun holiday content coming your way, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Also, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I've been having so much fun making reels over there, and I also have TikTok too. So make sure you follow me on all of those places, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.